All right, guys, it is a universal day. We're here at Islands of Adventure right now. We are going to do a quick loop, and then we're going to head over to Universal Studios Orlando and take a look at all the Mardi Gras stuff. There's some here. We're excited. I'm excited for Mardi Gras, so let's go. So we're in the main gift shop here for Universal Islands of Adventure. And we found these are new candle scents here. We've got Banana Breath for King Kong. We've got the Green Planet scent from ET. We've got Time Machine for the DeLorean from Back to the Future. And last but certainly not least, Amity Island from Jaws. How awesome is that? I need a Jurassic one now. Looks like the Seuss carousel is under some refurbishment. I'm going into Poseidon's Fury and they painted all this. It actually looks really, really good. It needed a paint job. Work walls are still up. I wonder if it will open. So we're here at the Halloween boutique and it's now taken over to be voodoo themed for Mardi Gras. And they're gonna have a tribute store opening too, which I'm excited to see. I love Mardi Gras. Creepy. I think these are new. These are new. That's why I'm calling them. Because they're going to open up, I think, a little mini tribute store for Universal Classic Monsters. Here is some of the Mardi Gras merchandise for this year. The theme is supposed to be louder, wilder, and spicier, which is actually on this hat. And I believe the parade floats are going to be something um, like planet themed so out of this world so you're going to see lots of planet themed stuff this year super cool okay there we go planet mardi gras look at that that hat is incredible i love cups i'm always drinking something and this is awesome 29, not bad. We've got socks and a bag as well. Can't have Mardi Gras without masks. And beads galore. I saw this shirt online and I'm thinking that I really want this. I love this classic logo and I love Mardi Gras. Like, how could you not? Got some lights here. Got more socks. Got a tank top here. Even a fanny pack. Oh, this is so creepy in here. I love it. What did you find? I love this one. What is this? Magic Candle Company is back at it again. That one smells really good. What would you say this smells like? I don't know, but it just smells really good. Like I want it in my I office. Can't, I can't put my finger on it. Top notes of toasted almond, mild notes of dried tobacco leaf, climbing myrtle, and basic notes of vanilla. I think that's the vanilla I'm smelling. Next up is Sahara Sunset. Definitely a more, kind of feels like a more summery. Yeah, we've got some citrus in there, lemon peel, cactus flower, prickly pear. Yeah, this is definitely like a more sweet smell. Phantom Chamber, green dew melon. That's actually what I'm smelling. It's, it's got a very melon smell to it. Last but not least, we've got Caravan. Ooh, I really like that. It's very fresh. Fresh linen, warm leather, and crisp dew. Sweet forest pine. Yeah, this is a really good scent. Okay, if this is any indication of what the tribute store is gonna be, I'm excited. So this is all we have for now. The Universal Tribute Store is going to be like a theme of like a, uh, of a float parade uh, house. Basically, you're gonna go and see how the floats are made. So, 
onwards. All right, heading in to see any new merchandise they might have. 35 minutes for Velocicoaster is tempting, but we gotta keep going. Into the Discovery Center we go. But really through here. I've been wanting to see these in person. Look at these new blue plushes. How adorable. Taylor, I feel like I need along with everything else in the store. She's not amused. So this I haven't seen in a while. I wanted this during Halloween Horror Nights when it was raining. I wanted this jacket, but it was out of stock. And it's back. I think this hat is brand new. I'm not totally sure. I'm not a big hat person, so I may have missed it. We have some of the Dino Escape toys here. It's like even the Scorpius Rex has made it in. You guys, we need to talk about these pillow pets. I know I don't need them, but I absolutely want them. Like, how incredible are these? I really, really want the blue one. How much are they? They're 35 bucks. It's not horrible. Down to the lower level we go which really was the entry level when they came in during the first movie. And if you count that as the entrance, about right over here is where T-Rex would have come in. We have a Velocicoaster wooden model of the ride vehicle. How awesome is this? There's not a whole lot that you guys haven't seen. If you're wanting to see an in-depth of all this merchandise, I will link other videos that we've done. So this is brand new, a personalized ID bag. You can be an employee at Jurassic World. I'm not going to print this one, but this is what it would look like. And you can be a handler, operations if you work at Velocicoaster. How cool is this? And then we'll print it out. It's $10. But I think that's a really cool souvenir. Unfortunately, I don't want to join the team today. But one day, I will get one of these. Oh, I've been fired. Awesome. Raptors are running loose. So we're going by River Adventure and it is closed for refurbishment. But fear not, it's only for, I think, another week or so. And it's basically they go through and I think they like repaint the rock work and work on some of the dinosaurs, give them checkups, you know? We're gonna run into Jurassic Outfitters real quick. I don't think there's much more we haven't seen, but we're gonna take a quick peek. They did change this in here. The calf registers used to be right over here, and they have moved over there. I do like this. I want this. Let's see, have they put any Apple Watch bands yet? Oh, they have. That's tempting. Let's see if they have any phone cases. I'm sure they do. These are some pretty cool cases. Most of these we've seen, but sometimes they have custom ones that they don't print. You just have to see them on here. I used to have that one. Love it. This backpack has been sold out for a while, but it's back. Isn't that so cool? I, I think the Mosasaurus is, is, is new too, right? Nothing totally new over here. I feel like this imminent wave of Dominion stuff is going to just flood in. 
and I'm so ready for it. Is it weird to just see this gate down? Because normally this is where you would come out of River Adventure. Soaked, might I add. So we are going to leave Islands of Adventure and we're gonna head over to Universal Studios and see some Mardi Gras stuff. All right, magically, we're at Universal Studios. Shrek 4D is no more. Work walls are up. Mardi Gras, starting I think February 4th or 5th, don't quote me on that, I don't remember exactly. They are going to have some amazing bands. They're gonna have Sugar Ray, Bare Naked Ladies, really, really awesome bands. I think we're gonna go in, have a quick bite at the Monsters Cafe. Shout out to you, Cody. Here we go. I know this is totally unrelated, but if you've never been in here and you love the classic monsters or horror movies in general, you really need to come in here. And I'm just gonna give you a quick tour while Taylor's grabbing our food. I mean, how cool is this? Like, isn't this amazing? How could you not want to eat here? Now you will never see her again. I'll give you a drink to tell me where she is. I'm not kidding. You're going to tell me you're leaving your heart and muscles only I can control. And it's cool. And, and seriously, if you ever get a chance to come in here, just walk around. Assuming that it's this empty and you're not bumping into people. There's all sorts of really cool photos and props. This is part of the script for Frankenstein. Bride of Frankenstein, anyway. The original laboratory key. I love this. The theming is so cool. My favorite. The Invisible Man. Swamp Dining. I'm in. This is super cool. I've never been back this far. We've eaten here before, but... I've been told to look up. Whoa. Rancho. You have to admire this. An upside down chair for Dracula. Come on. Classic. So we just left Monster Cafe. We are heading over. Tribute store is not open yet, but it is coming. I'm excited. Love Mardi Gras. But I have something for you. Fear not. Okay, so check this out. So coming soon, we've got Universal Studios Monsters. It's like it's gonna be like kind of a tribute store. And this is out. Look at this. If you're looking to ride the mummy, you're out of luck, unfortunately, but it's gonna be reopening late this summer. So we're near San Francisco, kind of by Fast and Furious, and they've already got some of the Mardi Gras tents out. I can only imagine what amazing food is gonna be there. Got more booths set up. I'm just excited for the parades and the food. Got some sort of really big stage set up. We've got Bart Simpson out today. We've got Secret Life of Pets out today also. We're gonna head into the prop shop here. See if there's anything cool. Got some vintage Mardi Gras stuff here in the prop shop. These awesome masks. All right. The pre-show podium in the Shrek attraction is now in the prop shop. That was quick. It's only 4,000, so if you want one, come grab it. So they also have the Shrek glasses here. These are all from different attractions at Universal Studios. This was seen in the Toon Extra Islands of Adventure. 
I was wondering if this was gonna be here and Taylor found it. It's the Ian Malcolm pumpkin. This is from the mummy. That's so funny. Oh. A cup of coffee. coffee. And look, he's got the hat. All right guys, so that is a trip around Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. We definitely jumped the gun a little bit on the Mardi Gras. I knew there wasn't a whole lot, but I was super excited. I just had to get out here, so there will be a tribute store opening. We'll come see that, and we'll be here for Mardi Gras, so stay tuned, guys. Bye.